So Dan, what's today's job? Today's job is the big challenge of replacing the front hub seals. But really fortunately, we've met Chad. <laughs> howdy. Well, howdy, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> it's the American thing to say, right? <laughs> howdy. <laughs> Does that make me ma'am? <laughs> Howdy, ma'am. Oh my God! <laughs> go. I'm living the dream. What you got to do with the pinky out? <laughs> ah, oh, that's right, because he's posh. <laughs> what steps first? What comes first? Uh, we need to undo the 10 bolts that are inside. Then the hub seal should come out. Obviously we need to drain the oil out first. Then the hub seal should come out. Don't know how tricky that'll be to get it out. Is this a nice absorbent driveway? <laughs> oh, we'll be putting some cardboard or something down. Yeah, we'll put something down. So, you're going to do that. Are you going to get to use your special thing that costs so much money? Special, special tool. Yeah, I'm going to get to use the special tool if I can work out how to use it. So I'll show you that in a little while when I've got it out. Just got to get the tools out and <laughs> okay. crack on. All right. Okay, don't let me hold you up. Now that shouldn't happen. Holy cow. No, that's crazy. You all right? Yeah. You gonna... That's the hub vent, not venting. Because what happens is, uh, this this is the uh, vent line yep. from the hub, and it goes into the front diff. Right. Now, not long ago, I made sure that that was clear. Okay. Because one of the concerns was that this was weeping because it was under pressure. Ah, right, right. Okay. And that was perfectly clear, and I was able to blow along it all the way to the um, to the front diff. And that was one of the things we absolutely—it was one of the first things we checked because that would be an obvious reason why this was weeping. What about the connection from the hose to the diff? Uh, Is there any way to check that, or did you check that? I checked all the way along the hose. Yeah, I could blow here, and it would come out of the diff. Yeah, but and then the diff's vented. Oh, yeah, it would come out of the diff itself. I see. Diff's, the diff's got another vent, so both of these go to the front diff, and then the diff's got another vent. But it means we've now got oil over your drive. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Mm. Uh, wow. Well, yeah, so much for this, this helping, huh? Blocked. Yeah, man, that put it in so far that it won't come back. So you just managed to phone Paul, and what a Paul said you just push the pistons back in the caliper, and then we should be able to get the brake pads out. And you can see it's coming. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah. A bit oily though. It's not the best. it can be when Chad's finger doesn't get in the way of things. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is the other part of the seal, which hasn't come off yet. Finger oh. down. Because, as I understand it... That's not the whole seal. That's not the whole seal. Okay. This part needs to come off too. This is our seal that we want to replace. And it's not, it's not sitting flush. This side has been pushed out. So that must be why it's leaking. Yep. All right. What's that then, Dan? Uh, one special tool. Hopefully, it'll be self-explanatory how to use it. Okay, what's it made of, Chad? Aluminium. Ah, I thought you were going to do the aluminium thing. How often that happens. So that's what the hub gear looks like. Uh, and here's, here's the new seal. And that's the old seal. So this just 
positions there. Let me get the special tool all the way from the UK. And we Yeah, perfect. Okay. So we put this on to the hub. And then this disc pushes the cassette seal in. It locates all being well. Chad's ahead of me. He knows I need the adjustable spanner. Oh, thank you very much. And then it, it pushes the, by tightening this, you push the disc in, which pushes the seal home. And it does it with uniform pressure, so it's doing it all nicely, all the way across at the same time. It wouldn't be fun trying to do it without the special tool. Oh damn, you're so big and strong. <laughs> I hope you haven't got that on video. <laughs> Maybe. That feels like it's all the way home. And as you can see, it's pushed it beautifully, neatly home. And then what we do is, Chad's cleaned this up beautifully. Yeah. Uh, that goes, that fits on here. And then you need this one, which just fits inside here. And then if you bolt it on again, it'll push that metal ring home. All good? Yep, yeah, should be. nice. That's it. That's the new seal on. Woohoo! Put the rest of it back together. Just like that. <laughs> Not going to put much on. Lift it up. Yep. Press it down. Press. Lift it up. Press it down. Press. Good job getting the uh, nuts. You call them lug nuts, don't you, here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you guys call them? Uh, wheel nuts. Wheel nuts? Yeah. Best to turn it around a little. I think it's just needs jacking up a fraction more. The, uh, I forgot to put these on. I'm going to have to take four nuts back off again. <laughs> How's the morning oh, being done? That tape. Give us the exasperated. Four hours, probably. <laughs> Um, but even the dog sympathizes it's done uh, yeah we had a few challenges along the way um but with the help of chad and with the help of paul howard back in the uk uh pulling over at the road inside in the dark to help us out and do a video call it gave us the confidence to crack on and uh, get the brake discs off once we got the brake discs off it was reasonably plain sailing
So see the hub seal thing that you had to replace, which is why you did all this? Yeah. How many more of the wheels do you need to do that on? Just the other front wheel. Okay. So would that make it lunchtime now then? Lunchtime, yeah. Okay, let's go eat.